welcome everybody. Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to make lobster tails. We're gonna broil these in the oven. And if you thought they were difficult to make, you're in for a sweet surprise because they are not. They are very simple. And not only that, I'm gonna show you how to make a nice little butter lemon garlic sauce to put over it that is just out of this world delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that over here at Rock and Robin Cooks, we're always cooking up something delicious with flavor being our number one priority and quality ingredients, healthy ingredients, number two. So, you know, our recipes are gluten-free. A lot of times we're doing some low carb, we're doing Mexican recipes. I know you love those. And I tell you, you know, if that sounds good to you, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it so you won't miss my new videos coming out every week. So I'm gonna start off here by making my little butter mixture. So what I have here is some brown butter. Now I have a video for you, go make that. It's super easy to make and it will make a huge difference in your lobster tail flavor. It's so good, it has a nice nutty uh, smell and flavor to it. Man, I wish you could smell that, it is wonderful. And you can see the brown bits in this. That's what you want to incorporate into the sauce. And by the way, I'm using a butter from pasture raised cows. Now I have an organic lemon here because what we're gonna do with this is I'm going to use a microplane and we're going to put the skin here into our butter to let those oils infuse for some really delicious flavor along with, I'm gonna squeeze some of this in there as well. So go ahead and just do the whole lemon. Next, we're gonna add some garlic. I have it in uh, fresh garlic in my press here and we're just gonna um, squeeze it through and add that to it. Now I like to add a little bit of paprika. You can use smoked paprika, you can use chili powder, you can use a combination, you can do whatever you want. Uh, sprinkle that in there. I'm just gonna toss some in until my sauce has that nice red look to it. We're gonna put a pinch of salt because we talked about how this is unsalted. So we'll put a little bit of salt in there. And the last thing we're gonna add is some fresh chopped parsley. Gotta have that. All right, we're gonna add that to the dish. Nice and green, and then we'll just stir it up. And if it does start to get, you know, cool, it might firm up on you. You can always reheat it in the microwave if you like. But that's perfect and ready to go. We're gonna let that sit. And like I said, let those flavors infuse it's gonna be incredible. And you can always taste this. In fact, let me do that. Let me do a little taste test to see if we need to adjust any flavors. Fantastic. Now we're gonna move on to that lobster. All right, so here's my lobster tail, and I'm gonna weigh him out just so I have an idea of how much he weighs, and so that will kind of guide me. It says uh, 6.8. So since my lobster weighs about six and a half ounces, then it's gonna take about six and a half minutes to all the way up to about 10 minutes uh, to cook him under the broiler. So it'll just vary. We wanna cook him to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't wanna go over that because if we do, then it, it can turn out pretty rubbery and unappetizing. So we wanna make sure we don't overcook it. What we're gonna do here is take a pair of kitchen shears like I have here, and we're gonna snip right under the shell, okay, all the way down his back, and we're gonna go down to about there. So you just wanna snip it off, or just snip it in half, I should say, not off. And hopefully, sometimes you might get some shell that breaks off, so you wanna make sure you try and get that out of there. You can wear gloves if you want. You're gonna take your hands and you're gonna to work to open up the shell a little bit and just kind of crack it open. And then take your fingers and just kind of run it down the sides. You wanna release the meat from the shell on both sides. You hear the cracking? All right, so once you kind of release that, we want to get it underneath. 
So you want to stick your fingers under the meat, but next to the shell, okay? And you're going to lift the meat up. You see how I'm doing that? I'm lifting it up all the way up. And what this does is it lifts it up so we can pull it up like this, right? Close the shell back up a little bit so that the meat can sit on top. This will make a nicer presentation, plus it'll make it easier for it to broil. Now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, make sure I don't have any little shells on there before we um, put our sauce on top of this. And if you get any little membranes like this, you wanna just peel that off. So I'm gonna pour, because I have too much uh, sauce, butter sauce, for just one lobster, I'm gonna pour some of this into a separate bowl so I don't contaminate it. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Okay, we're gonna take our little lobster and we're gonna place him on our cookie sheet. I'm gonna place him right there like that. And then I have my sauce right here with a brush and I'm going to brush it on. And let's get the bottom first, might as well, right? I wanna get it all over so that we don't miss anything and make sure that he's just very flavorful. Gotta make sure that shell is closed when you set him back down. And then we can just lather him up, right? Just let that sauce just go everywhere. And I will probably baste him one more time as he's cooking and he's ready to go. So I've got my oven in the broiler setting and we're gonna check it in about six minutes. And I have an instant read thermometer here. These guys are indispensable. We want our temperature to be no higher than 140, hopefully. And uh, that'll tell us when it's ready. So in the oven we go. All right, so I've got my oven set up. It's on broil, the heating element. I want the pan to be about six to eight inches from the heating element. So we are gonna place him in second rack down. And I'm gonna try and line him up so he's underneath one of the heating elements right there. And we're gonna keep the door open because I wanna keep an eye on him and I'm gonna set my timer for six minutes. You can see how our lobster has turned a nice red color. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so six minutes and we're gonna test with our instant read thermometer. Just make sure you try and get it right in the middle of the meat. And we're at uh, 115, 14, it's going down. So we have a little ways to go yet. Go ahead and baste it just a little bit more before we put it back in the oven. Okay, nine minutes and our lobster tail is done. Smells incredible in here. Okay, so I'm gonna place my lobster tail, place it right on the plate, just like that. Now, what I did was is I cooked up for my meal to go with it is some gold potatoes. I just basically just coated them, rubbed them with some olive oil and some salt, and I placed them in the oven 425 degrees and just roasted them for like 30 minutes, and boom, they turned out beautiful. So I'll place some of those, and I steamed up a little broccoli. Very simple meal, guys, but very delicious and almost elegant looking. So I'll put some of that on my plate. Can't wait to dig in here. All right, let's do a taste test. See if I can cut a little bit of this off. A little piece here. That sauce is amazing. Mm. I like that potato. Mm. Such a good meal. Man, that is delicious. That sauce is what makes it. Make sure you use brown butter. It is the best. It makes it taste so flavorful. You're going to love it. You can use regular butter, but I'm telling you, you'll miss out on a ton of flavor. So thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to my channel, share the video, and leave me a comment. And hey, what the heck, give me a thumbs up too. All right, thanks again. We'll see you next time.